All right, Fudge Pie Guy here. I'm going to make this short and sweet. I took a RTL SDR.com version 3 uh, dongle and took it out of its case and uh, made a hole in it, drilled a hole in the side of this box to fit the, uh, the SMA connector through. Then I have a, another hole over here where the USB comes out. I removed the uh, connector on the uh, RTL. I uh, unsoldered that. And if we open this guy up, as you can see, here it is. And it's leak proof. I went ahead and put some silicone around both sides of the uh, RTL around the uh, SMA so it doesn't leak through the center pin around the center pin and around the uh, outer part of the uh, inside of the sma connector then i put a little silicone around the uh, hole where i pushed the uh, rtl through then with me unsoldering the uh, usb connector gave me some room See if I can move this a little bit here. Gave me uh, some more room to work with. So I just soldered on a uh, USB 2.0 cable here to the uh, RTL and uh, put a little shrink around the cable and uh, siliconed it up underneath the shrink and siliconed the end there so nothing can seep out. Then if we turn this around, we can see, kind of hard, but it's there. Put a little uh, silicone around the hole there where the uh, USB cable comes out. And I left it sit here with this hanging down to see if it would drip out for like a day or so. And it hasn't dripped yet. It was dripping when I first did it. And I went back and fixed this a little bit with a little bit of silicone and uh that did it because it was seeping in around out of that so i think it'll work out good so i just wanted to share this and uh we'll see how good it does with the heat uh we'll just put the lid on it screw it down and uh try it out just figured i'd do something different and see what happens so thanks for Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another one. And don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe.